the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at His ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, that just as they receive manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Paul came down to Antioch where he spent a short time before continuing his journey through the Galatian country and then through Phrygia, encouraging all the followers. An Alexandrian Jew named Apollos now arrived in Ephesus. He was an eloquent man with a sound knowledge of the Scriptures, and yet, though he had been given instruction in the way of the Lord, and preached with great spiritual earnestness, and was accurate in all the details he taught about Jesus, he had only experienced the baptism of John. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him speak boldly in the synagogue, they took an interest in him and gave him further instruction about the way. When Apollos thought of crossing over to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote, asking the disciples to welcome him. When he arrived there, he was able, by God's grace, to help the believers considerably by the energetic way he refuted the Jews in public and demonstrated from the Scriptures that Jesus was the Christ. The Word of the Lord God is King of all the earth. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the people are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. I shall ask the Father, and He will give you another Advocate to be with you forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you most solemnly, anything you ask from the Father, he will grant in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I have been telling you, all this in metaphors. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in metaphors, but tell you about the Father in plain words. When that day comes, you will ask in my name. And I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you, because the Father himself loves you for loving me and believing that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world, and now I leave the world to go to the Father. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, what do you want? Like, what do you really want? Jesus in our Gospel today says, Anything you ask from the Father, He will grant in my name. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. And so what is Jesus trying to say to us? And what does it mean to be asking in the name of Jesus, in His name? To be doing something or asking something in the name of someone else, we are not only representing the person, but also all of that the person stands for and all that the person is, who that person is, we are representing that. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, when we ask in Jesus' name, we are asking what Jesus wants. Now, the big question for us is, do what I want aligns with what Jesus wants for me? That is why Jesus also said, until now, you have not asked anything. You have not asked for anything in my name. Perhaps because we have not considered what Jesus wants. And a lot of the time, we have just been praying for what we want. Though there's nothing wrong in that. But Jesus here is inviting us to a deeper relationship with Him and His Father so that, so that our joy will be complete. Now, how do we go about that then, dear brothers and sisters? It is through the paths of discernment and through a deeper formation and awareness of oneself. Firstly, discernment. Do I have a spiritual director? If we do not, or have not yet found one, do we then at least have particular friends or loved ones that can accompany us in our faith journey? That we can be honest with and we can share vulnerably with, as well as being open to listen to their perspectives, to listen to their challenges for us to grow, and their encouragement and their affirmations as well. Because if we do not have, and we are not open to spiritual accompaniment in our journey, then we will be going through life myopic, short-sighted, fixated on our own views, and thereby stunted in our growth as persons. Now, those of you, dear brothers and sisters, with spectacles, uh, especially those like me with a bit of a higher degree, try going through the day without your spectacles or your contact lenses. How difficult that would be. I think it would be impossible for me. Now, can we also remember the time or the times that we had just checked our eyes and made new specs or contact lenses and, and suddenly when we've put them on, they were so overwhelmingly clear. And sometimes it gave us a bit of a, a headache, a bit of a, a light-headedness. And our optician would usually say to us, it'll be alright in time. That, my dear brothers and sisters, is the experience of spiritual accompaniment and discernment. Why? Because whatever limited things that we know, is all that we know. And so when new things come into our vision, into our understanding, it can be quite overwhelming at first. But it helps broaden our, our personal myopic vision. It, it grows our self-awareness and it forms us. And now that 
everything is starting to open up, dear brothers and sisters, with less restrictions. The question for us is, how are we finding avenues to grow in our spiritual formation? Through talks, through sessions, retreats, maybe short courses as well, perhaps. And so, dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God for His grace as He invites us to grow in our minds and in our hearts through formation and discernment that we become more Christ-like, thereby aligning my will with His will so that I will be able to truly ask in His name and ultimately find my joys complete. Amen. And so, dear brothers and sisters, formed by divine teaching and by Jesus' command, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>